Kristen Summers. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to shorten a zipper. I'm Colleen G. Lee and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. The tools you're going to need are a measuring tool, in my case a tape measure, a thimble, needle and thread, your paper scissors, not your fabric scissors, and this is optional, um, is a sharpie or felt tip marker. Here I've got my zipper and it is a nine inch zipper so the nine inch begins from the slider here to the stopper here i'll just show you so i've got my measuring tool tape measure and so that's nine inch and i'm going to be making it seven so i'm going to get my marker which is optional you don't need a marker pink can suffice and just put a little indication there and that is where I'm going to be doing my hand stitching. The next thing is to put on my thimble, um, which you can do without if you are okay with that. Um, the next thing is to get your zipper and you're going to get your needle and thread and where you place your marker quite close to the teeth, I'll just show you on the wrong side, there, and you're going to come up to the right side, like so. Pull the needle through. So I'm actually in the zipper tape at the moment and then I'm going to take my needle and go kind of like the back of the teeth but also into the tape and what I'm doing here is a whipping stitch and bring it through the other end and this is the reason why I'm saying you need a thimble. You're not going through the plastic because you can't and you're going to be doing a whipping stitch several times about 10 times because remember you are replacing it with plastic it, this, this is metal here so you want your stitching your whipping stitch to be really strong get my thimble and push it through so you're going to be going over that spot several times and like I said roughly about 10 times because you really want it to be really strong so I'm going to keep on doing that and then I'll come back to you once I'm on my 10th one and I'll do my third one. Do my last stitch, so I'll pull it through and then make it on the right side of the zipper and then turn it over to the back. I'm happy with that and then I'm going to tie a knot just to secure that in place. Actually I think I'll just do one more. Oops. I'm happy with that now and then it's just a case of just snipping that away and you should be able to see the difference between that I'm happy with that bulk that's there and that took 10 whipping stitches now the next thing once you've done that you now need to cut your zipper and we're talking roughly about an inch thereabouts so about two centimeters so I get my paper scissors and about there and just cut that away okay and I'll just check that I'm happy with that yep that's really strong really happy with that and there you have your shortened zipper there may be times when you can't find the right size zipper for your sewing project and this is a perfect solution to that problem if you have any questions or queries, please put them in a comment box below and I'll see you next time.